to find the right shoe for you, you just go to brooks.com and go to the shoe finder tab right here. And then you go down, uh, scroll down here. And you get started right here. Uh, what, when I go out to run, I prefer to wear and I would put women's shoes. If you're a man, you would put man's shoes. And it, you put either road or trail. Okay. I think, uh, I don't know what to put, so I'll just put trail. It's usually that's the hardest shoe to find, uh, that are, will grip the trail. And then continue. And it says, do your feet go toe in? Or toe out or straight ahead and mine go out real bad you can tell if your legs fall open real easy if you're uh, oh you know this one or if you knock your knees together when you walk you're in this one okay and the next question give us a leg to stand on kick off your shoes stand on one leg and what do you sense in your standing foot? Do you feel very stable or quite unstable? And I'm usually feeling unstable. So continue to the next question. And let's go to the knee dip. Now that you've warmed up, stand up on your feet with your feet together, heels, toes touching. Uh, slide your hand between your knees and do a shallow squat. What do you feel? And then they give you three choices here, and it's that your knees move in, your knees move out, or your knees stay straight ahead. Okay, mine usually fall out. Continue. This will all help you when you get your shoes. Those will correct anything that's weird, you know, about the way you walk. <clears throat> Place your hand, palm face down on a flat surface, bend your finger back index finger with the opposite hand what is the angle of from the table 40 or less or 45 more than 45 mm -hmm. and I can't remember what mine was let's see I'll do it again mine was less okay uh, share your pain. Nobody likes injuries, but they're important to discuss. Do you currently experience any pain you endured from a running-related injury in the past six months? No. Continue. Okay, give us the long and short of it during the last bit, six months. How many miles did you run last each week? And I want to show that has a long, a lot of wear in it, so I'm going to put more than 30. Uh, what are you training for? Uh, healthy life, 5K, 10K, half marathon or marathon or longer. For the sturdiest shoe, that'll be, you know, this is just for walking, healthy life. This is for a marathon run. It's putting a lot of miles on a shoe that are, last longer than just a regular walking shoe come along for the ride choose the running experience you want do you like to float or do you like to feel you want a shoe more or less lightweight and keeps you closer to the ground or float i want a shoe that lifts me up off the ground oh i don't know what to put <laughs> I don't know. I like cushion. I know that. I guess I'll take this one. Okay. And last but not least, which appeal appeals to you? Connect me, flexible shoes that have a natural correct connection to the run, or a fast built-in speed uh, that propels your performance to the next level. I think I'll just stick with the regular. Okay. And... They got me this one, pure grit, soft, flexible. 
lightweight running shoe naturally connects you to the D-Lamp pick up your line. $120. You more. Hmm. Okay. And you look down to see to make sure it's got the high arch and the pronator and all that. Let's see. It's here's all of its qualities. It's got for running on the trail, high and medium arches, midsole drop, four millimeter. So let's see if it's got the pronator. I guess it's got the pronator. Uh, you know, for the to reduce the uh, rolling out of my foot, you know, the baby or what do you call it, bow legged, the bow leggedness of it. picture of that so I can remember because this is a new shoe I haven't seen before But anyway, you just uh, pick out your shoe and uh, go back and change. You know, you can get one that's waterproof, like I got the, uh, I like uh, the one that's like this. Let me see if I can find a picture of it. No, 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 no. I can't, I can't find the one, but it's, let me find it. There it is. No, it's not there. Okay. Well, I'll put you a picture of it in a minute. Also, you can look up your shoes by this. You put, if you're bow-legged, you put pronator. And if you, like I need a high arch, I put a high arch. If you've got pigeon toe, you'd put supinator. Oh, that's right. I forgot what the difference was. Supinator or pronator. Anyway. You put, uh, I forgot the difference of the two, but um, you would put those that, and, and you got to search here. These were pulled up, and so like I would say, okay, which one do I want? And you can click on each one, and it'll give you the, you know, the other values, you know, the make, make sure you get the right one. And so you can see the prices if it's on sale. This is $70, so it's on sale. And, um... Uh, so that would be the best one, you know. And I go in different colors. And uh, I could click on the different colors here. And I'm thinking of getting those. You know, this one is what I want to get. And uh, the comfort level is so good. I mean, I can tell when I put them on that uh, my old shoes, my legs were uh, bowing out and my feet were sliding over like, uh, pit, you know, like bow-legged and actually making my legs hurt and my back hurt. And so after I wore the shoes, i come home and my legs felt like they had had a workout. Like the my thighs weren't toned and they felt aligned, they weren't bowing out, and so it straightened my feet, and therefore it straightened my legs and back, and I just felt better, I feel better about myself, I can stand up straighter, it helped my posture, and everything too, so they are kind of expensive, but you can't put a price on your uh, posture, I mean, because it can make your whole body ache if you're 
posture of that. Okay, well anyway, here's this, and then here's some other pictures here of the shoes. You know, I did a different kind of search. Um, I probably won't get that kind, but see, these were only sixty-five dollars. But of course, the most important part is to the to check the details to make sure that they're there for your foot. You know. So that, uh, see, like this one was pulled up because it's got the midsole drop, which means, uh, you know, so I wouldn't be pigeon toed, I would be, uh, so it would help the, correct the bow leggedness and the medium arch. Plus, they're running, they're running, and um, here's some more stuff about it. See, it aligns. Minimizing the stress on your joints. They're not lying. That's a true statement. It uh, helps protect your foot from the trail hazards and comfort security. Let's see. Oh, plus it's got cushioning. Adaptive cushioning. It's probably got memory foam inside. I'll have to check those out. But anyway, um, those are those. Okay. Yeah. Also, to, to see what's on sale, you can go to academysports.com and see the uh, different shoes that are on sale from Brooks. You just put Brooks Women's up here, or Brooks Men's if you're looking for a, a guy's shoe. And uh, then you scroll down, it'll show only Brooks shoes. And uh, they're uh, pretty high, uh, usually over $100 more than $100, so usually if they're at Academy, they're lower, they've lowered the price, especially like this one here, Adrenaline GTS, that might be waterproof, uh, $79, that's pretty good, and uh, they're all good, here, look at this, uh, 129 they're regularly 150 uh, this one is a new one, Go State running shoes. See, these are the ones I want to get next. These are the ones with the mesh panels for hot weather. That's my uh, only 119. And uh, anyway, if they uh, don't have, you could try it on in the store. And if they don't have your size available in the store, just go online and pick it up for a uh, sale price at academy.com.